Good evening. 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 We are in the week number two. We are going to start the second week of this module. So let me go to the document because we are going to start with something very interesting. So give me a second. Mm, we are going to start with uh, an exercise in this case. We are going to hear a conversation and we are going to have some practice in this case. We are going to practice the conversation that we are going to listen, but it is not like working very well because I don't know what is happening, but give me a second. I need to go to the document and also I need to go to the to the platform because we are going to listen to the conversation there. So, in the case that we cannot hear the conversation on the platform, I have the conversation on the document. And we are going to read that conversation there. And also we are going to talk about the details of the conversation and also what are we going to do with that conversation. So, uh, tell me, Alili. Teacher, se le escucha cortado. Eso mismo le iba a decir. No se escucha bien. Y Bridget también le iba a decir lo mismo. Okay, I don't know why, but I, I just want to say something funny. Um, no sé por qué, no sé si será, I don't know, pero siempre eh, para el segundo grupo, because you are the second group that I have, it's not like working and I don't know why. It's like a mystery. I think it's not going to work. I will try to have a decision uh, for a couple of minutes without the the camera on because I'm trying to make it better for you to understand as the topics that we are going to develop uh, today. No se le entiende nada, teacher. Okay, now you can hear me. Lo pueden escuchar bien ahora o siempre se escucha igual. Siempre cortado. Se escucha cortado. Siempre, teacher, se Se escucha como que está lloviendo, Ticha. Como que están pegándole algo ahí. Como que si es un tren, ¿verdad, Santiago? Así como que... 
como que está quemando leña y está. No, hombre, como que por un tren. Sí, cabal, así se escucha. Como que alguien, como que están digitando, escribiendo. Sí, algo así. Máquina. Pero solo Brian dice que le escucha bien. Pero, ¿sabes? Yo, escucho, en, en, yo, escucho, yo escucho el sonido, pero no, no le afecta en el, en el audio. No, pero no, se, le escucha, bueno, se le escucha cortado. Yo, yo, yo le escuchaba cortado. Uh -huh. medio, me, a media palabra se quedaba. Ok, now. ¿Se escucha mejor ahora? ¿Qué? Sí. So, so. Ok, um, al principio estaba con datos eh, del celular, se supone que tendría que ser un poco mejor. Ahora estoy conectado con el internet de residencial. I don't know if it's better now. No sé si se escucha mejor ahora. Casi igual, teacher. Es igual, se escucha. Sí, sí, lo que sucede es que mejores, si tiene puede... conexión a Wi-Fi, ese es el problema, que con la conexión a Wi-Fi siempre tiene, tiene cierta irregularidad en lo que es la conexión. Entonces siempre Bien. es mejor conectarla por medio de, de cable a la computadora, aunque sea la... En it is, it is la like edad, está conectada de esa manera, con el cable directo a la caja, estaba con los datos del celular, but I know that I have a lot of troubles with this group uh, for their communication. No sé por qué siempre hay muchos problemas eh, ya para esta Porque hora. Se oye, con... se oye como, uh -huh. como robótica la voz. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. Y entre uh -huh. eso, se oye entre cortamos. Yes, I will stop the camera for a moment. Voy a detener un momento lo que es el, lo de la cámara para ver si también eh, ayuda un poco con eso. En I don't know. But you can tell me if you can hear or not and I will ask for help. Voy a pedir ayuda si no se escucha mejor. No sé si ahora se escucha un poco mejor o igual. Pues es un poquito mejor nada más. Ok. Mm -mm. I'm going to start. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we have the first sentence for this week, and it is, if you don't make mistakes, you are not working on hard enough problems, and that's a big mistake. Si no trabajamos en problemas que no son lo suficientemente fuertes, eh, no estamos nosotros, ¿verdad?, en un gran problema. Uh, sometimes we have, like, troubles, and we think that is the end of the world, But uh, in that case, we need just to breathe and continue with our job, doing some um, some more exercises, uh, um, like solving those uh, problems. We are going to see the first thing that we are going to develop in this session, that is the topic So, to neither and either, and we have here the conversation that it is supposed that we are going to listen on the platform, but in this case, I don't know, it is going to be possible. No creo que vaya a ser un poco posible por lo mismo de la conexión, eh, because I don't know what more I can do for that. Um, but we are going to read. So, we have two people in this conversation. We have Jeff and Bob. Tenemos a Jeff y a Bob en esta conversación. And we are going to um, just listen what are they saying, and then we are going to have, like, a practice. 
And we have the first people, and it is Jeff. And Jeff says, Say, would you like to go out for, uh, to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It is a bit spicy. Mmm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too, and I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Airoha. Oh, I always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. So they are deciding uh, where to go out for dinner. And they are talking about Indian food. Also, they are talking about Japanese food. And they decide to go to a Japanese restaurant. So, um, we're going to read again the conversation and then I will give you time to re read the conversation and then we're going to have an activity. We have, say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Mmm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too, and I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Airoha. Oh, I've been always wanting to go there. Terrific. Let's go. So now you're going to have some minutes to read the conversation. Vamos a tener un par de minutos para leer la conversación. Si pueden sacarle una captura o pueden entrar directamente al documento para tenerlo habilitado porque voy a hacer grupos para que lo podamos practicar. So um, you have some minutes to complete reading the conversation.
Okay, now I'm going to create a, the group. I'm going to stop this one. Voy a detener la presentación de la pantalla y voy a crear los grupos para que podamos practicar. A message is going to appear on the screen and it's going to be of your group. Le va a aparecer un mensaje para que se puedan unir a sus grupos. I have like 17. Four. Gladys, you need to enter the room because you need to practice the conversation. Um, yes, Irma. I am Jeff. Bye. Okay, pero... Al, alguien tiene para, para poder compa compartir la, la captura. Ah, sí. Ahorita. Ready. Ready. Yeah. No, la, no, no, me apare, no me aparece. ¿En el, en el WhatsApp? Ver, es que como yo desde el teléfono estoy conectada, por eso. Mm. Sol, pero si, si, si me meto al WhatsApp, este, no me va a aparecer la cámara. La... To dinner tonight. Sure. You want to go? Well, what do you think That's of India food? No, but well, well, but well. Ah, sí, sí. Well, what do you? Well, what okay. do you think of India food? I love it, but. I am not really in the mood for uh, it to date. Yeah, I am not either. I was eat bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. No sería la segunda. Sure, where do you go? Okay, sure, we do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it. Good. I know with internet for students. 
Yeah, I'm not either. I was, I bit spice. Mm. How do you like Japan food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too, and I. Ese no sé cómo se pronuncia. No. Podría. ¿Cómo? No. No. A nice happen. Restaurant near near there is can't. Hi, teacher. Hola, teacher. César se escucha igual. Yes. César. Habla, César. Estoy hablando. <risa> Estamos mal. Es mal. <laughs> eh, Fatima, I, hable Fat I will report that we are having troubles with the communication in this group. Uh, sí. eh, Fatima, sí. hable. Los demás se bien, bien. Hola, hola, me escuchan sí, bien. Sí, escucho bien, escucho bien. Sí, sí. Ah, pues a ustedes les está fallando la señal. A César, oye, a César, dale, sí. <risa> no. va, sí que, va, le vamos a dar con Fátima. Dejen ustedes porque igual yo no. no Santiago, Santiago y Fátima que, que, que practiquen. Sí, va, yo, yo, yo le voy a hablar en, 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 en chino y no me van a entender. Yo soy Jeff, Fátima. Oh, ok. Ok, sí. Would you like to go out to din dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not fully really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Mm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I don't know, I need Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Koyet. It's called oh. I don't know how this is. I don't know how. Cool. Oh. oh, I've always wanted to, to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Okay. Mom. Solamente que empiece ahora. Empieza. Okay. Los otros compañeros. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Va. Empiezo. Yes. Okay. Va. Okay. Say, why you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I not either. I guess it's a bit a spice. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. 
I did too, and I don't know a nice Japanese restaurant in here. I call it Aroha. Oh, I be always want to go there. Terrific, let's go. Okay. Okay, we are back, and thank you for the participation. You are doing very, very well. I was listening to the practice that you were having on the breakup rooms, and it was really amazing, and it's like that kind of um, activities that we are going to perform to um, improve our skills. I don't know if I am like a robot again, but you can tell me if we are having troubles with the sound. Or it is okay. Estamos bien con el sonido o todavía sonamos Bastante mal. Ha mejorado, teacher. Ha mejorado, oh. sí. Ah, oh, that's good. Gracias. Eso es muy bueno. Ok. Esperemos que no se vuelva a, a dañar lo del sonido. Ok, we are going to continue with that topic because in that case we were talking about eh, so to, neither, and either. And this is the beginning. Este es el comienzo. Nuestra conversación es el inicio o la entrada a ese tema. And we can find some eh, sentence in which we are applying the information. And we have, for example, um, okay, in the number three, the, um, the sentence number three, well, what do you think of Indian food? ¿Qué piensas de la comida de la India? And the answer is, I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Me encanta, pero no me siento, hmm, como que no quiero en este momento comerla. Then it is a negative sentence. Tenemos una oración negativa in that case. And what is the next sentence? It says, yeah, I'm not either. I'm not either. I guess it is a bit spicy. Yo tampoco. Pero estamos hablando de una oración negativa. Para una oración negativa vamos a utilizar el either. Pero vamos a ver un poquito más adelante. Then, we have another one and it is like, oh, um, how do you think... Or, how do you like Japanese food? ¿Te gustaría comida japonesa? Oh, I like it a lot. Me gusta. That is a positive sentence. Una oración positiva. And what this person say? I do too. I like it a lot. I do too. Me gusta. A mí también. Es una oración positiva y respondemos con el too. And I know a nice... Yeah, really. Japanese, that's good. Uh, a nice Japanese restaurant near here. 
It's called Airoja. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. To repeat, let's go. So in that conversation, we have two different sentences. I'm not either, and I do too. ¿Cómo vamos a utilizar nosotros el so, el to, el neither y el either cuando conversamos con nuestros amigos? Estamos manteniendo una conversación con otra persona y estamos de acuerdo con lo que está diciendo, pero tenemos dos connotaciones. The positive one and the negative one. So we are going to learn um, what of these words we are going to use for the positive ones and what for the negative. So, the first thing that we are going to say is, when someone expresses a statement, we can simply use phrases like, me neither, neither do I, nor can cats, James doesn't either, so does my dad, etc., to indicate that the same or similar situation applies to another person, group, or entity. So, we have some expressions here that we can use to agree with the situation that the other person is saying. And we have the following statement. We have me neither. Also, we have neither do I. Nor can cats. James doesn't either. So those my dad. And this sentence indicates, they indicate that the same or similar So in this case, we are going to use this kind of phrases or answers to say that a similar situation is happening to another person or another group or something like that. So in the case of the sentence that we have on the conversation, they are talking about food. So in that case, um, one of them are saying something and the other one is saying that something similar is happening to him or it has the same uh, the same idea. Tenemos las mismas ideas o nos está pasando la misma situación y por eso vamos a utilizar esa forma de responder con el me neither, neither do I, nor can cut, James doesn't either, also that is my dad. In that case, we are going to see how to answer or how to use that expression. And it says a some form of either, neither, to, so, we shall we indicate that the same case applies to the other person. So in that case, it's like to express that we agree with that situation. Tell me, Aleli. Uh, sería como para reflejar empatía, teacher. Mm. Empatía con el grupo o con la opinión de la otra persona. Um, if you can say so, yes. But in that case, it's uh, when you are talking with uh, someone and uh, you need to indicate that you are like having the same idea, you can use uh, these expressions. Um, for example, I am saying that we are going to um, have a meeting, but we don't want to have that meeting because we are tired. So you can say, so do we, nosotros también. Estoy cansada, nosotros también. Es como que reforzamos 
esa idea de que también nosotros estamos pasando por la misma situación. Y yes, it is like uh, something like that, but in some cases we agree with that idea. So, we are going to begin with so and to. Esa es la primera parte. So and to. So to. This one I use to show agreement with positive statements. In this case, we are going to use so and to with positive statements. So we are going to see some examples uh, of the application of these uh, phrases. We are going to have a person A and a person B. So the person A is saying something and the person B is answering that idea or making an agreement. But we have uh, the formula first. And we have here that we are going to use so plus auxiliary plus the subject. That is for the answer. Remember, that is for the answer. You are going to use so at the beginning because in this case we are just using so. Then you are going to use the auxiliary. What kind of auxiliary we are going to use? In this case, we can use a B or you can use have. Then we have the examples. I'm going to have like a table here. I'm going to add here, because I need to uh, make it like in order. So we have person A and person B. This one is the statement that the person is saying, and this is the answer. Okay, for the first one, we have, I am happy. I am happy. A very Simple sentence. Soy o soy feliz. I am happy. We have here the verb to be. I am happy. So, what is the answer that I am going to use? First, I need to write so. Then, auxiliary. In this case, I am using the verb to be, so I'm going to use the verb to be also. So, am who? I, because I am talking about me. So am I. That is the answer. Someone is saying, I am happy and I want to agree with that idea because I am feeling happy too. So am I. Yo me siento feliz. Yo estoy feliz. Yo soy feliz. Y la persona con la que yo hablo también quiere decir que es feliz, que se siente feliz, que está bien. Entonces responde, so am I. Yo también. Es como decir, yo también. O yo también me siento de esa manera. Number two. You are making a noise. You are making a noise. And for that, we have, again, we are going to write so at the beginning. But in this case, you are using are for this sentence. So are who? You, because that is the subject. So are you. Estás haciendo, estás produciendo un sonido. También tú lo estás haciendo. So are you. Then, number three. I need more money. I need more money. So in this case, we are not using the verb to be for this sentence. 
In this case, we are using an, an, a verb, in this case, need, necesito. Yo necesito más dinero. So in this case, we are going to answer like this. Uh, remember that we are using so at the beginning, and then we are going to use an auxiliary in this case, because we are not using the verb to be. So we are going to use do. So do I. Así que yo también, o sea, yo también lo necesito. Then, Steve likes pizza. Steve likes pizza. And again, we are using a verb in this case. We are going to use do, but we are talking about Steve. And in that case, we are not going to use do. We are going to use thus. So that's Mary. Como a Steve le gusta la pizza, también a Mary le gusta la pizza. Then, I was fired this morning. We are going to use the past. I was tired this morning. Estaba cansado esta mañana. I was tired this morning. So was I. En pasado siempre, so was I. Vamos a ir siempre, ¿verdad?, haciendo que concuerde lo que estamos utilizando, ya sea el auxiliar, el verbo to be, o el have, con lo que estamos utilizando en la oración. Tiene que concordar lo que son los eh, subjects, the auxiliaries, and we know that at the beginning we are going to write so. Next one, number six. We were late. We were late. And we are going to answer, so were they. So were they. Ellos también estuvieron tarde o llegaron tarde. Number seven, I watched a movie last night. I watched a movie last night. And in the answer we can say, so did, because we are using the past, and we are using a verb, in this case we are going to use do, does, or in this case, because it is past, did, so did I. Number eight, she can play the guitar. In this case, can. She can play the guitar. And we are going to use can for the answer. So can I. Then we have, we could, in past, we could see the stars. We could see the stars. Pudimos ver las estrellas. And the answer is, so could I. So could I. Number 10, she will win an award. She will, in this case, we are going to use will in the future. She will win an award. And again, we are going to use the will. So, will I. Then we have wool. I would like a cup of coffee. I would like a cup of coffee. And so would I. 
And the last one for this part, it says, he should study more. He should. He should study more. So should I. <laughs> it was okay, but not is not okay. You will go. Okay. Okay, trend in class. Okay, if um sentences if, eleven. Uh twelve. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. If this happen again, I will change again the connection from the internet to the other one. So we are going to see. But we have 10 minutes, oh my God. So should I? So in this case, let me see. En este caso, algo que sí tenemos que tener en cuenta es que para contestar vamos a hacer que concuerde nuestra respuesta con lo que ya nos dijeron. It's like um, when we are using, for example, the verb to be, and we are saying I am, or in, the, in that case, someone is asking a question, are you, uh, what, are you a um, doctor, for example? And in your answer, you are going to say, yes, I am. So in that case, uh, you are using that same structure of answering, but in this case, you need to match the answer with the sentence that you are using or the person is using when they are talking about a specific situation. Así que tiene que concordar con lo que la otra persona nos está diciendo para que nuestra respuesta suene, ¿verdad? Eh, o genere ese, ese agreement that we want to give to that person. But this is for positive statements. Recuerden que el so y el to es para positivo, solo para situaciones positivas o oraciones positivas. But now, um, for the to, it says, the auxiliary verb or to be or to have, because in that case we have three options, that is the auxiliary, the verb to be, and to have. Tenemos tres opciones para poder hacer estas respuestas. These ones need to agree with the verb tense in the original statement. Tiene que concordar también con el tiempo en el que se está haciendo la oración. If I am talking in present, you are not going to answer in future. Or you are not going to answer in past. You need to answer in present. If I am talking in past, you need to answer in past. If I am talking in, in future, you need to answer in future. Tienen que concordar los tiempos y los auxiliares o los complementos que estamos utilizando, porque si no sería otra cosa diferente. And for the two, for example, we have some sentences here. In the first one, I am happy to. If someone is saying I am happy, and you need to say, I am happy also. You can say, I am happy too. Si la primera persona nos dice, soy feliz o estoy feliz, y yo quiero decir, yo también. And in this case, too, it's like more easy because you know that. You're going to use the sentence and then too. And we are going to say, I am happy too. It's easier than saying, so am I. Así que para este caso el to es 
como un poco más sencillo, porque ya hemos utilizado a veces eh, estas expresiones, es como decir la misma oración que la otra persona está utilizando, pero agregándole el tú. También soy feliz. Es decir, yo también soy feliz. Complete. No es solo decir también yo. In this case, I am happy too. For the second one, in this case, let me change this one. Yes, like this. For the second one, that is saying you are making a noise. And you can answer, you are making a noise too. The person A is saying, you are making a noise. And you can answer, you are making a noise too. You are using almost the whole sentence and adding something at the end. Number three, we have in the sentence number three, I need more money. I need more money. What is the sentence in this case? ¿Cuál es la oración que vamos a utilizar en el número tres para responder a eso? I need more money. I need more, more money two. too. Good. I need more money too. Es utilizar la oración que ya nos dijeron y agregarle el to. Es bastante sencillo. Then we have mm, for Steve, for the number four. Steve likes pizza. En la respuesta que ya teníamos, so does Mary. Estamos agregando a otra persona. Mary. Si queremos responder a Steve likes pizza metiendo el nombre de Mary, ¿cómo haríamos esa oración? They like pizza. Mm, we are not going like to use no. oh. they. Who? Mary likes pizza too. Mm -hmm. Mary oh, likes okay. pizza too. Porque en ese caso solo le estamos agregando a ella. A ella también le gusta la pizza. So en ese caso, Mary likes pizza too. Then, number five. I was tired this morning. I was tired this morning. What is the answer for that? We. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. I was starting in March. I was starting. I am. I. 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 I, I, I wear. Mm -mm. I was. I, I, I was. I was. I was. I was. This morning, too. Como din, como din. <laughs> <laughs> it's, almost <laughs> it's almost the same. Van a utilizar casi la misma oración. I was tired. In the morning, too. Mm -hmm. I was tired. In the morning, two. I mean, tired, morning, what is happening, two. Next one, number six, we have here, we are late, we were late in this case, we were late. And here we are having they, estamos agregando they, pero estamos utilizando el pasado, ¿cómo nos va a quedar esa oración? en la respuesta. They, they were late too. They were late. Yes, they were late too. Good. Ahí tenemos la oración y tenemos la respuesta. Nos vamos a ir enfocando también en la respuesta que ya dimos. Then, we have number seven. I watched a movie last night. I watched in past, the verb is in past. I watched a movie last night. Y mi respuesta 
so did I. Estoy hablando de I. ¿Qué hice yo como respuesta? I was. I, uh -huh. I was. Ajá. Uh -huh. Watched a movie last night too. Ajá. Uh -huh. Last night too. I watched a movie last night too. Yo vi una película anoche. Pues yo también vi una película anoche. No me voy a quedar atrás, ¿verdad? Then, number eight. She can play the guitar. In this case, we are using can. Can. She can play the guitar. And in this case, I am saying, so can I. In this case, I am answering with I. In this case, how can we create that uh, answer? I can. I can. Play to the guitar too. Aha. Uh -huh. I can play the guitar too. Number nine, and it says we could. In that case, we are using could. We could see the stars. And the answer is so could I. So in that case, I am talking about me. What is the answer? I. I. Could see the good. stars too. That's good. I could see the stars too. Number 10. And we are almost done because we have 12. Number 10. She will. Future. She will win an award. And the answer is. So will I. Estoy utilizándome otra vez a mí. The answer is... I will I. And an hour too. Mm -hmm, good. I will win an hour too. Si ella gana un premio, yo también lo voy a ganar. That's okay. Then we have 11. I would like a cup of coffee. I would like a cup of coffee. So, would I is the answer. The long answer can be? What is the long answer? I will mm -hmm. like a cup of coffee too. Mm -hmm. Good. I would like a cup of coffee too. Nice. And the last one, I mean, this is a uh, capital letter. We have the number 12 here. He should study more. He should study more. But in the answer is, so should I? En la respuesta me estoy involucrando a mí. ¿Cómo debería decir esa última respuesta? I should. I should. Good. What? ¿Qué debería hacer? Study. Ajá. Ajá. Good. Study more too. Ahí está. Nuestras respuestas largas con el to es solo tomar la frase que ya nos dijeron transformarla un poquito a nuestra realidad, a lo que nosotros queremos responder y agregarle el Q. Siempre recordando que el tiempo tiene que concordar igual que los auxiliares. So, we are going to end the session here. Uh, I will like to... Or I will try to report the problem that we have with the... Um, the voices and all of the things because I I really like to have a, a good session with you because it, it's necessary. But we are going to end the session here today and we are going to see each other tomorrow in session number two. So have a really good night. Bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye.